Okay, so this is the fresh water generator system. Okay, this is the diagram. Now, first question is how do we produce fresh water and water? Okay, of course you know that it is uh, by the use of the sea, by the fresh water generator, we converted the sea water into fresh water or distilled water by the process of distillation. Now, how does distillation uh, go up? It's being processed on board. Now, from the sea chest, okay, from the from the sea, okay, this seawater injector pump creates pressure, okay, that sucks the seawater from the sea chest, okay. It sucks and this valve is open, well, this valve is open and this valve is open, this is the suction and this is the discharge, okay. The seawater then passes this pipe, okay, and then going to the condenser okay so this is the condenser now the seawater then goes here following the I'm just tracing the pipeline going here and then some portion of seawater goes in this portion or just in this chamber which is called as the evaporator now some portion goes here to the inductor pump Okay, this is an inductor, an air drying inductor, which then being thrown out again or being discharged again to overboard, back to the sea. Now, in here, the portion, the, the portion of seawater that goes in this chamber, which is the evaporator, is then, evapor is then evaporated or boiled. By what? Okay. By this jacket cooling water. This jacket cooling water comes from the cylinder liner of the main engines. Okay? The, because the, 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 the main engine produces heat because of combustion, okay? Then the cylinder, cylinder liner gets hot. And this jacket cooling water, okay, upon passing the main engine, is already a hot temperature, fresh water or liquid. Now, the temperature is being maintained in about 72 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees. Celsius, okay? The jacket cooling water enters here and then the seawater in this portion is then heated by this jacket cooling water, okay? Because it is hot. Now, upon passing there, it is then again being discharged in here going to the cooler, okay? Now, upon passing the cooler, okay, it then go back, goes back to the fresh water expansion tank. Jacket cooling fresh water, sorry. Jacket cooling water expansion tank. And then from here, okay, from here it is again be brought back again to the main engine. So it's just circulation. Now, what is the boiling point of water? The boiling point of water in, in, in a normal atmospheric pressure, okay, normal atmospheric pressure The boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. But sir, uh, why does the why does the, the sea water is being evaporated in, evaporated in just about 70 to 85 degrees Celsius? Okay, and uh, in here you can see a pipeline. Okay, you can see a pipeline. What is passing here? Uh, what passing in here is this is the chamber. This is an enclosed space. What passing in here is air okay or gas that is producing vacuum okay now how is that how is the vacuum is being produced by this uh by this uh, fresh water generator as you can see the sea water goes in this portion okay it goes in this portion and because of this as you can see this is a smaller pipeline and in a smaller pipeline the pressure goes up okay and because of the pressure that is being produced by the sea water it then suck Okay, it then suck air from this chamber, okay, and then it produces vacuum pressure. Now, why would it we produce vacuum pressure? Okay, as I uh, asked earlier, 70 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius is the temperature of jacket cooling water, okay, and the temperature and the boiling point of a water, okay, and ordinary water in a, or a normal atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees Celsius. So, at the top of the mountains, that is considered to be a low pressure area. In that areas, you can boil water in just 80 degrees Celsius, okay? Why is that? 
because following the principle of pressure is directly proportional to temperature. For example, this is a normal atmospheric pressure. Okay, the normal atmosphere, just like here in Batangas. And here, this is the 100 degrees Celsius boiling point. If we lower the, um, of course, we cannot put this 85 degrees Celsius, we cannot uh, increase it to 100 degrees Celsius. Why? Because it will not serve as a coolant already to the main engine. Your main engine will overheat if we raise the temperature of this. So, we maintain it in 70 to 85 degrees Celsius. Now, in normal atmospheric pressure, 100 degrees Celsius boiling point, if you lower, the, if you, uh, we cannot raise the temperature, so we will lower the pressure. If we lower the pressure, okay, meaning to say the 100 degrees Celsius is too much for boiling, okay? And if we lower the temperature, we can still boil, okay? Did you get it? Now, in here, if you put, for example, imagine there is a container. If you fill it up with air or gas, fill it, fill it, fill it, the pressure inside the chamber will go up. But vice versa, in contrary, in contrary if you suck air inside, the pressure will go down. Okay. Now, because of that vacuum, the pressure inside the chamber goes down. So therefore, you can boil the water in just 70 to 85 degrees Celsius. Now, the water here, the seawater here, okay, because we already have a vacuum, the pressure is already down, okay? The jacket cooling water that is 7 to 85 degrees Celsius will then boil that seawater, okay? And that seawater turns into steam or vapor, okay? Now, in this, this is a separator shell. Why is it a se separator shell? Because it separates the condenser, okay, and the evaporator. The vapor will look for of course, it is a gas, it will always seek for a uh, passage, okay? It will then go in here. What is this? This is a demister, okay? Demister. What is a demister? It is a filter. Now, because this vapor, okay, this saturated vapor, uh, when it passes the demister, of course, it has uh, what, it has still, uh, before passing the demister, it has still some uh, moisture, Okay, that's why it is mist. Mist means a small mo, just like a fog. Okay, and it is being filtered for here to become pure vapor without moistures. Okay, and later on I will explain to you why do we do that. Okay, so the vapor goes up in this portion. Okay, and then because of the cold temperature of the seawater, because of the cold temperature of the seawater, this vapor will now be condensed. Okay, because of the coldness, the temperature will go but will go down, and therefore this vapor will now become fresh water or distilled water because it's already it already passed the process of distillation. The process of distillation distillation has two components: the evaporation and condensation. Now the distilled water will then be collected in this portion at the lower depth, the lower portion, and then uh, it will flow here to this passage, this pipe, by the use of fresh water this fresh water pump or the what we call distillate pump because it is pumping distilled water going to the fresh water tanks okay it is where you store the fresh water on board now this uh, this uh, distillate distilled water this fresh water wasn't yet uh, ready, if it is not yet ready for, for uh, to be delivered, to be stored in the fresh water tank because of its salinity content, it will be brought back again to the evaporator to reprocess. How will you check the salinity content? Salinity content means the salt content, the saltiness of the water. If it is still salty in, the, in some shifts, okay, the limit is only 10 ppm. 10 ppm, ppm means parts per million, okay, parts per million. 